From 2012 to 2017, the European Research Council project Across Borders and the FWF START project Across Ancient Borders and Cultures were successfully conducted at the Austrian Academy of Sciences and the Ludwig Maximilians University Munich. Both are archaeological projects with excavations and fieldwork in Egypt and northern Sudan. Remains of settlements from the second millennium BCE were investigated in diverse cultural settings situated across ancient borders and cultures. Within the core land of Egypt, in the border region of Egypt, and in foreign territory, modern northern Sudan, ancient Nubia. The focus was on the site of Sai in northern Sudan. The 66 square kilometer large island lies opposite of the modern town of Abri, where the Nile makes a prominent turn. It was an important settlement site since the Stone Ages and was continuously occupied. Within the region of Upper Nubia, Sai can be regarded as one of the most important examples for Egyptian settlement policy during the New Kingdom, especially because of its Egyptian temple town and adjacent pyramid cemeteries. The town was founded around 1530 BCE and was contemporaneously settled like the other New Kingdom sites located in Egypt, Abydos and Elephantine, which were also investigated within the project. Prior to the Across Borders project, no attempt had been made to directly compare these sites and to explain the large correspondence of their archaeological remains, despite their diverse environmental and cultural preconditions. This is, in particular, of interest since textual sources tell us that some persons of the Egyptian administration were living both at Sai and at Elephantine for a certain period of time. The Across Borders project wants to provide, for the first time, answers to crucial questions concerning the living conditions, the quality of living and the infrastructure in an Egyptian settlement far away from home. In addition to the reconstruction of daily life at Sai, the focus lies on the encounter of diverse cultures, in this case Egyptians and Nubians. Interdisciplinary approaches such as the study of provenience of ceramics and geological studies allow fresh insights into the living conditions in Nubia in direct comparison to Egypt. Who was living and working in this town during the period of the New Kingdom? Based on excavations by a French mission, Across Borders conducted a new recording of the New Kingdom structures on Sai by means of a laser scanning campaign in 2014. Ingrid Adenstedt, architect and collaborator of the FWF project, proposed a new 3D reconstruction of the area, based on the laser scan. Her monograph was published in 2016 and enables a detailed evaluation of Sai with other settlements in Nubia and Egypt. Important evidence regarding the structure of the town, its architecture and finds came from the excavation area Sav 1 North. This sector is situated along the northern town enclosure. It was excavated between 2008 and 2012 by the Sai Island Archaeological Mission of the University Lille 3. The detailed assessment of its architecture and finds was undertaken within the framework of Across Borders. The main focus of the project lies on material remains, the architecture and material culture, for the latter in particular on ceramics and small finds. One of the results was the dating of the heyday of Sav 1 North to the mid to late 18th dynasty. In addition to cooking pots, especially Egyptian pottery types like spinning bowls, fish dishes and fire dogs allow some insights into the daily life of the ancient town. It is striking that the fire dogs are very numerous, which contrasts to the finds in Egypt. Across Borders has documented almost 200 pieces, and this large number raises several questions. Was there a fire dog deposit on Sai? Or were fire dogs used in other functions, maybe for the production process of materials, thus explaining their high number? We tried to answer some of these questions by means of experimental archaeology. 
A number of questions remain open, but the experiment clearly showed cooking with Egyptian cooking pots and fire dogs really works. For precise assessments about the people in New Kingdom Sai, data from tombs and human remains are necessary. Therefore, across borders also worked in the cemetery of the Egyptian town. A new tomb, Tomb 26, was discovered in 2015. Excavation in this tomb was completed in 2017, unearthing some spectacular findings. Thanks to inscribed finds, some of the persons in the tomb can be identified. The chief goldsmith Knumosa was buried here with his wife. It is very likely that other family members were also laid to rest in Tomb 26. At present, strontium and DNA analyses are ongoing, which will provide data for the most crucial question. Were the people buried in Tomb 26 native or non-native to Sai? Despite the fact that all persons are buried in Egyptian style, this might also be the result of a high degree of acculturation. They were all occupants of an Egyptian town, irrespective of whether they were actually born in Egypt. One aspect became very clear thanks to a cross-borders research. The microcosm of Sai was a dynamic one, allowing no strict divisions into Egyptian and Nubian, but rather illustrating how complex urban cohabitation was already in ancient times. Personal decisions played an important role, but are only rarely traceable in the archaeological record. Also, planned towns like Sai had, despite state planning and organization, a certain degree of momentum, which in turn made the site to something very special. <laughs>